Hi everyone, this is Jason with vStore Coaching. Today we're here to take a look at the WooCommerce brand extension. Uh, so this uh, brand extension uh, for WooCommerce actually allows you to create brands for your shop. Uh, each brand can be uh, named, described, and assigned an image. Uh, so if you want to be creative, uh, you can actually use this in different ways and depending on your business type, uh, you can choose to, for example, uh, use to show your portfolio, your client list, uh, projects, uh, glossary, and even even maybe for your products as well. Uh, so the WooCommerce brands can uh, then be actually listed, indexed on a page using uh, the A, A to Z short code, uh, displayed as thumbnails on the page, uh, displayed also at uh, at the widget sidebar widget and assigned to a product. Uh, so basically at the store level, category, and product level all of which I'll be showing you today. So after you actually do the installation, it'll be listed uh, as a, what do you call it? A WooCommerce brand add-on. So make sure you activate it. And once you activate it, um, we're gonna look at the store uh, store level settings. It can be found at the WooCommerce uh, settings. Click on, on the product tab. And if you scroll down a little bit, it's called Brands Archives. So basically, it's just one checkbox. Uh, either you check it or not, enable it or disable it, which is going to allow you to choose to show the brand description on your archive page. Uh, so you can turn it on and off. So let's uh, let's actually set a brand out uh, up at the category level. It will be uh, listed under Products and Brands. So let's create a uh, new one called uh, Hanes Beefy T. And I have a number of um, brands already uh, created previously. And you can add your description here if you like. Uh, Hanes Beefy T description. And this is where actually your description will come out from your archive page set from your uh, store level and uh, don't forget to assign a thumbnail I'm going to use this one and add new brand so we just went over creating a brand new brand uh, let's go over to your product level now and what we're going to do now is actually assign a, a brand to a product. So if you don't actually see the brand's module on your right hand side, don't forget to uh, go to screen options and just enable it. Um, right over here and once you enable it you should see it pop up right here and it should list out all your brands so let's look for uh, the Hanes Beefy Tea and uh, you can also choose to create one on the fly but you can't really uh, add any images you would need to actually go back to products and brands and, and then uh, add your description and an image there and uh, what I want to do is actually add a short code for uh, for the product. So I'll come up. Let's say I want to just you know put it under uh, put it under my description here. Uh, let's update. Let's view the product. Here we go, here is our um, Hanes Beefy T. And if you uh, scroll down to the description, you'll see the brand that we just created, the Hanes Beefy T. So uh, on my site, I also have a uh, shop by brands. So this is a page dedicated on displaying the thumbnails, uh, either the thumbnails are listed. Uh, as you can see, I didn't, did a good, I didn't do a good job of assigning all these um, 
uh, images to a thumbnail but you know once you do that it's gonna look wonderful I have a few here and this is the thumbnail view and uh, just right below that we have uh, we have the list of view here products uh, brand list so it's gonna go alphabetically uh, let's say I want to jump over to G right here And now uh, here's my Hanes BFT. And now uh, once you click on that, it's gonna bring up all the products uh, for Hanes BFT. So let's, uh, let's take a look at how I created this. It's under Pages. shop by brands you can create a new page and then call it anything you want you know my portfolio um, glossary terms for example and here's the two short codes I'll make sure I list this in the show notes as well product underscore brand underscore thumbnails and the other one here is uh, product underscore brand underscore list and then make sure you have your left and right brackets here uh, so let's say I just want to remove this uh, thumbnail for now because I don't have all my images. Let's update this. And uh, this is uh, just my uh, my listed view here. Looks a lot cleaner. For, uh, for a site that doesn't have all its images. All right, let's take a look at the, the next thing is the widgets. So if we can go to appearance and widgets, you can actually add a widget there. Uh, WooCommerce comes with three types of uh, uh, selection for you to choose for from uh, for widgets. If I can find it right here, you have the WooCommerce brand description, the brand layered navigation, and then the brand thumbnail view. Uh, what I did is actually um, I'm using the WooCommerce uh, brand layer, layered view uh, navigation uh, as a drop down. So let me show you how this will look like. Let me see if I can find a. Uh, okay, so in this uh, category view, on there's ladies fleece. I I have the brands here as a drop down menu. So I can go to Hanes, for example. And it will show you all the products I have listed under Hanes. So if you take a look at this, it doesn't have the the brand itself. And what you would need to do is actually add your short code for each and every product if you would like to do that. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to show you a neat little trick. You can add a little bit of a, a PHP code to your um, to your file, and it's going to render the the brand logo for every product. So let's take a look at this. Okay, let's assume I want to uh, put the brand logo under my uh, under my title. Um, WooCommerce actually comes with uh, breaks down the file into uh, uh, let me show you different sections of a, a product page. So you see the price, the product images, the related view, uh, short description, title, upsell. So all of these are are in different uh, sections of a file that calls in a, in a in on a different file on top of a different file. Uh, I won't go into details of how that's structured now, but uh, so let's say I want to just list this under my title. Uh, I'm just gonna copy it over over here to my local directory, and I'm just gonna drag it over to my Notepad. And let me bring you over my Notepad. Um, so this title file is pretty. It's pretty straightforward. It's just 
you know calling the the title itself and uh, what I would like to do is just uh, drop it over here uh, so this is going to uh, call out my short code for product brand uh, I'm not going to do any um, any more uh, um, customization or, or aligning this so it's just to show you I could dump the short code in here and actually uh, see it displayed so I'm going to put that over there I'm going to save it back to my child theme uh, which is a uh, actually I just messed this up I want to actually save it to my child theme here just drag this over here and I'll delete this back again once I'm done so now that I added the short code I'm gonna refresh this page and 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 the file should the logo should appear right under my title here there you go Haynes so there you have it we just took a look at the WooCommerce uh, brand extension uh, we looked at on installing this and actually um, configuring it at your store level, your category level, and also your product level. And so if you're interested uh, in this extension, uh, this WooCommerce extension, uh, please go to the link below and get your own copy. Right now it's on sale for about $29 uh, for, for your site. And if you'd like to see more of these kind of tutorials, just let me know. And, uh, and also subscribe to my email list and channel. I'm here to uh, create relevant content. Uh, so thank you for watching.